This looks natural. Looks like it was laid on with a butter knife out. I got the, the sun halo going already. Wow. I don't know of any clouds that are just streams. You know, horizontal streams. Unbelievable. Not one cloud called whatever this is. But these zombies don't care. Look at that. Definitely got the sun halo going already. The shield is up. And what I didn't realize is there's a bunch of stuff falling from the sky again today. Look at all the stuff falling from the sky. This is Florida, people. It's not Wisconsin. Nothing's uh, blooming still in the winter in Florida. These aren't bugs. They're not uh, space orbs. This is bullshit falling from the sky. So, Mr. Barack Obama, the environmental climate president, this is the condition he left our planet in with stuff actually falling from the sky. It's so polluted. Looks like snow. South Florida snow. Unbelievable. So they're going to have a climate march in Washington. All of these idiots got to do a march. The, the science march they're going to do, the climate march. None of them are going to be marching about what's falling from the sky. None of them are going to be marching about chemtrails or contrails. That's uh, water vapor, which is a greenhouse gas, which traps more heat on the planet. None of them are going to be marching about ionospheric heaters, which are actually heating up the planet worldwide. So, you know, these marches, there's just a bunch of hypocrites coming out, funded by George Soros. And it, it, they think it's trendy. They've been guilted into doing it. They think if you don't do it, it means you're a racist. And, and they're, they're just sad. They're not true, true people with true causes. They've been duped into it. They're a bunch of CNN mainstream news watchers that are getting brainwashed. Getting mixed in with the anarchists, so they're really looking like fools after that. And no one gives a shit about the real things going on. None of them are going to be marching against GMO. They're marching against Trump. He's done so much in the, in the past week to create the, the pollution and all of the stuff going on. These idiots don't know. Four years of Hillary Clinton, this, this country would have went under. You can't have a country producing nothing and, and trade deficits just going up, up, up. You can't, can't have it. You end up like Venezuela. You can't have it. You want to have uh, someone bring money into the country and then play around like Bernie Sanders, then maybe you could do it. But you can't do it on a broke country. Country don't run on love. Unbelievable. So this will be falling all day. It was falling. Was it falling yesterday? I don't know if I checked yesterday. So, signs can take their marches and stick it up their butt with their pharmaceutical medicines. But n n not even side effects, they're, they're new conditions that these medicines provide. Brand new conditions. So, science is, is off the rails. They're not there to help anybody. 
and these idiots are, are tweeting about it when it was trending. Oh, science helped save my daughter when she had cancer, and science helped my mother when she was sick. And yes, yeah, science has given you the, the detriments in the first place. The EMF, the GMO, all of the fraud chemicals, all of that bullshit is what's making you sick in the first place. So don't thank science. <laughs> don't thank science. You know, how the hell are the Indians and the Amish people living without science departments? How are they growing food without uh, Monsanto? For some reason, they're able to do it. But we need science. That's getting fraud government grants. That's why they're all against Trump, because they see their government grants drying up. Science. Science created your, your geoengineering. Like Wigginton says, the goal of geoengineering is to make the planet more reflective. Venus is two, two and a half times more reflective than, than Earth. But the atmosphere is so thick that it's just, it just traps in heat. And the, the temperature is 900 degrees on the planet. So that's what they're doing here. They're cocooning Earth. They're trapping heat. We got a molten core nuclear molten core that vents heat through the planet and it gets trapped in the atmosphere now. If we didn't have a molten core, yeah, geoengineering would sound like a good idea. But if you got heat venting through the planet that has nowhere to escape to because it's getting trapped in your atmosphere, you're creating another uh, Venus syndrome. So, intentionally heating the planet, ionospheric heaters, no one talks about any of it. None of the geoengineers talk about the core of the Earth. Could be fluctuating in temperature, warming up. None of them talk about that or factor it in. So, so you can see there's stuff falling from the sky. Unbelievable. Just came out, and I said they're going to have to spray more stuff up there if they want this, this layer to maintain itself. And of course, they're spraying more stuff up there. Who would have figured? Looks like, uh... Surprised you can even see the plane. So who would have figured? This guy's got his total streams of stuff. There's no clouds like this. You may have a fog layer, but it's not going to be just dragged out like this. This is frequencies dragging this stuff out. You got the sun halo, filthy garbage. And the zombies come out and say, oh, it's sunny out. Meanwhile, there's stuff falling from the sky. They're spraying the sky. There's clouds that don't even look like clouds. There's a big fake rainbow around the sun. And the zombies are wondering what's going to be on TV today. Unbelievable.